Psalm 52, 8. But I am like a green olive tree in the house of God. I trust in the mercy of God forever and ever. Verse 9. 52, Psalm 52, verse 9. I will praise you forever because you have done it. And in the presence of your saints, I will wait on your name for it is good. Oswald Chambers said, There are stages in life when there is no storm, no crisis. When we do our human best, it is when a crisis arises that we instantly reveal upon whom we rely. If we've been learning to worship God and to trust Him, the crisis will reveal that we will go to the breaking point and not break in our confidence in Him. And I've been reading in Ruth, and I love how Ruth continues to hold on to her loyalty to stay near to Naomi. And as you know, God blesses Ruth with a marriage to Boaz, her kinsman redeemer, and she has a child. And so Naomi in Ruth 4 verse 14 says, Blessed be the Lord who has not left you this day without a close relative, and may his name be famous in Israel, and may he be to you a restorer of life and a nourisher of your old age. For your daughter-in-law who loves you, who is better to you than seven sons, has borne him. Then Naomi took the child and laid him on her bosom and became a nurse to him. Also the neighbor women gave him a name, saying, This is a son born to Naomi. So really the daughter, the son is born to Ruth, but this is Naomi's grandson. And they called his name Obed. He is the father of Jesse, the father of David. What a beautiful closure to Naomi's story. Remember, she says, don't call me Naomi, call me Mara because I've been bitter. And so many of us can feel bitter right now. We can feel saddened. We can feel blue. We can feel despondent. Just downcast because of everything that's going on. And I've been reflecting upon the celebrations that many people are missing. You know, today is my sister's 50th birthday. Happy birthday, Patsy. And there are people missing graduations, promotion, weddings, anniversary parties, special birthday parties, milestone events, and especially the graduations, even the proms. They've got to really sting for the young people that are missing these special days. But like it says right here in Psalm 52, I'm like a green olive tree in the house of God. I trust in the mercy of God forever and ever. I will wait on your name for it is good. So may we continue to wait on the Lord, waiting on the day when we can gather together corporately with our brothers and sisters and celebrate. You know, those drive-by birthday parties are special and wonderful. These precious um, in-home proms that people are having, they're special. But God created us for community. God created us to be together, to be interwoven. We're a fabric, and we rejoice. And so as I think about, for example, my daughter, Olivia, who will not have her traditional eighth-grade promotion, I think about her, and I think, you know what? She's still going to be celebrated. We're going to do something special for her. I don't know what we're going to do, but God will help us and give us creative ways to celebrate. And so even if we can't have our social collective celebration, may God give us creative ways to celebrate those weddings, those anniversaries, those milestones, those four-year graduations, whether it's nursing school, law school, medical school, uh, college degrees, these are worthy of celebration. And so we just want to pray a blessing over those people who are celebrating in a new way in this pandemic. They're not celebrating as they would have wanted to, or maybe as they have planned, but we will still celebrate them. Amen. And so Heavenly Father, we thank you that you call us green olive trees in the house of God. How beautiful that is, Lord, because that green olive tree, it's a year-round plant. There's leaves in the olive tree that blossom all year long, Father. And so we have seasons, winter, spring, summer, fall. And so right now in this pandemic season, many people are missing out on their college graduation, high school graduation, uh, master's degrees, celebrations, God, birthday parties, promotions, weddings all of these things father they're beautiful and they're worthy of celebrating 
So God, may we have creative ways of celebrating the loved ones in our lives, God, that maybe we can't gather together in person, but we will do creative things to show them that we love them, whether it be mailing them a card, delivering flowers, doing a Zoom happy birthday, um, whatever it is, God, give us creative ways to celebrate Jesus. And so we know that um, we also mourn with those who mourn. I know the Cobb family, they um, celebrated their precious mom, Fran, and um, wife, Fran. And so they did a drive-by memorial service. And how awesome that they could do that, that people would stop what they are doing and go in their cars and just tell the Cobb family that they love them. And so for the many other people that are grieving someone and they can't have a traditional celebration of life service, that you would just give creative ways for families and friends to salute them, to memorialize them, to celebrate them, God. And so we know that you've created us for community. So help us to not grow weary and well-doing for in due season we will reap help us to continue to gather together to celebrate lord whether it's through facebook instagram through texts through cards through zoom however we can gather together to celebrate our loved ones that you would help us to do that and just to be creative father give us unique ways lord and your word says that you who began a good work in us, you are faithful to complete it. And you're not done what you're doing in us, God. You are the miracle worker, God. You are amazing. And so we know, and I just keep thinking of that image of a mosaic, that you take the broken, shattered glass, you take the broken, shattered concrete, you take the broken, shattered pieces, and you make a beautiful mosaic, Lord. And so would you do that? Would you do that in our lives, Lord? And would you help make us brand new, Father? You said, behold, I'm doing a new thing. And we love that you bring streams in the desert, Lord. And you are working. And just even as with autism, the symbol of autism, of the unique, special children that and adults that have autism, it's a puzzle piece. We, as a body of Christ, we're a puzzle. And you take the jigsaw piece, the jagged piece, and the various different pieces and you make a beautiful masterpiece in artwork a patchwork quilt and so would you help us as the body of christ to work together lord in unity in unison jesus that you have worship leaders that sing use the, them to sing a new song to you then as you have writers people that are gifted to write that you would they would write they would use the words to bless you god and to bless others with encouragement lord and as you have created people to be mouthpieces father um like prophets of old that your people would speak out boldly lord jesus and as if you've created artists in the body of christ that we would paint that we would draw that we would craft that you would just use your children to be those artisans father to glorify your holy name and as this psalm says I will wait on your name for it is good. Your name is good, Father. Your name is beautiful. Your name is holy and righteous and awesome. You are altogether lovely. You are wonderful, Lord. We praise you. You are the wonderful counselor, almighty God, everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. And as many of your people are hurting in their minds, Father, that the mental health um, crisis or the mental health um struggles are going on in homes all across america would you be that wonderful counselor would you give the songs in the night would your psalms and your worship come alive lord like never before i i think of our pastor who has said that when he went through hard times he would hug his bible he would literally hold his bible and um sleep with his bible in his arms that you would help people to do that father that they would know that you are Jehovah Nisi, that your banner of love covers us, and that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. That yes, spiritual warfare is real, but you are more real, God. And you will give us songs in the night. You will bring beauty from ashes. You will restore what the locusts have eaten. You are all these things and more, Lord. You are our redeemer, our strong tower, our rock, our good shepherd. You are the door of the sheep. You are the lamb that was slain. You are the Alpha and the Omega. You are Jesus the same yesterday, today, and forever. You are the light of the world, and your light shines bright in darkness. So when those dark, ugly thoughts come, that your light of your truth, of your word, would shine all that brighter, Lord, to us, Jesus. And Father, for those that are weary, 
with the financial struggles, that they would know that you're Jehovah Jireh, our provider. For those that are sick, that they would know that you're Jehovah Rapha, our healer. For those that feel low, that they would know that you're Yahweh Suri, the Lord, our rock. For those that feel lost, that they would know that you're Jehovah Ra'a, our good shepherd. That you lay down your life for your sheep. That the sheep know your voice. That you call out to us by name. Thank you, God, that our names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. And no one could ever snatch us out of your hand. For those that are confused and they don't know what to do. That you would whisper your words into their minds. And they would know clearly what to do, Lord. Thank you, God, that the lamp of the body is the eye. Help us to watch what we're, um, to be aware and to be mindful of what we watch in TV, of what we listen with our ears, God, that we would put on the full armor of God, the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, that we would gird our waist with truth. We would put on the gospel shoes, Lord. We would hold up the shield of faith and we would hold strong to the sword of the spirit, your word, and we would pray with all prayers together in the saints lord thank you that we are together where two or more are gathered you are in our midst god thank you that you are the groom and we are so in love with you jesus but we want more more love more power more of you in our life god holy spirit you are welcome here forgive us for boxing you in holy spirit we do not want to box you in how could you box a flame of fire how could you box wind you were the rushing wind flowing through the temple lord and we just beckon you and we call in the name of jesus ruach breath of god breathe on us holy spirit do something new something fresh lord break down the walls of division may the church be so united more united ever than before lord would you break up the follow ground for it is time to seek the lord would you help the church to be clean clean us up lord jesus like hosea the harlot she was going around and cheating on you god and yet you cleaned her up and you made her like a white as snow like a brand new bride with robes of white would you do that for your church would you make your church ready for your soon coming jesus we love you lord we praise you al kana jealous god al roy the god who sees hashem the name above all names you're the name that is high and lifted up lord no other name but the name of jesus we praise you in the morning when we rise give us jesus just jesus always jesus only jesus we love you we need you and we pray for this coronavirus that you would just cast it under your feet jesus that you would heal and that those that don't know you would call on the name of jesus and be saved lord for the prodigals they would come back to you lord and they would be ready and willing to repent of their sins for those in addiction that you would break those chains for those in confusion that you would heal their minds god please and even those with disabilities like isaac with autism for those with mental health issues so many struggle lord even those with dementia that you would heal and renew the mind god we we know that you said be not conformed to this world but be transformed by the renewing of the mind so would you do it lord we believe you can move a mountain and we believe you will do it again lord jesus and just like you made ruth to have a baby she was a widow and naomi she was so bitter so harmed by the struggles of this world and you changed her you made her fruitful and you made Ruth fruitful. And you gave her a kinsman redeemer. Would you bring about kinsman redeemers all throughout this land. That those that are weak would say I am strong. That those that were downcast would leap with joy. That those that are barren that you would give them fruitful wombs. That those that are hurting that you would make them to sing songs of praise to you Lord. Songs in the night God. We love you. We worship you. Heal cancer God. Those that have cancer Lord Jesus. Danny Kalunga. I lift him up to you by name. Nicole um sandy's uh, sister-in-law i lift her up by name god we pray for those that are sick with cancer yvonne yorba lord i pray for her jesus for those that are weak and weary that you would lift them up jesus for those that need a home that need um for you to break through that wall and provide father unease from the landlords that are demanding payment please god for those that are hurting the the those that are divorced that are widowed god those that are broken right now and abused father even in their souls or in their emotions that are abused would you heal them would you touch them god you are a, a, a amazing god 
that is near to the brokenhearted, a very present help in time of need. So for all of us, God, we pray in agreement. Psalm 121, I lift my eyes up to the hills. Where does my help come from? My help comes from you, the maker of heaven and earth. So be with those who are missing promotions, graduations, celebrations, God, birthday parties, anniversaries, weddings, God, even celebrations of life, that they feel like they can't properly say goodbye to the dead because of this coronavirus. Lord, may it's a lie, Jesus. You are near to the brokenhearted, and we will still celebrate. It might look different. But we still celebrate those that have accomplished so much, God. And so we thank you. We love you. We bless the name of Jesus. There is no other name but your name, King Jesus. And so while we're still sheltered in place at home, you have not left us. You are with us, God. And we trust you that you who began a good work in your church, you are faithful to complete it, Lord. And would you provide the finances for our churches, Lord, that not one single church would close down in this pandemic. The churches are open for business, Lord. The churches are preaching the gospel news. Help us to do it with all boldness God and we love you we praise you we thank you God that you are working in our hearts Lord and we just pray for marriages as well for children God that they might be confused they might be bored they might be frustrated but that they, they would sing a new song that you would teach them Lord sign language you would teach them how to praise you you would unseal lips that they may praise you God so we love you God and this work this time would be fruitful God that we would have growth spurts that we would burst forth with fruit Lord that we would be that vine that brings forth much fruit for you and you alone our vine dresser our king jesus in your name we pray amen god bless you